I think this is a special group. We kind of, not overachieved, but I think we did some things that no one expected last year at the end of the season. And it's kind of set expectations for this year, you know, and that was one of the biggest things when we started our program was we wanted expectations. We want people breathing down our necks about you bet you need to win, you need to do that kind of stuff. Because I think that that's kind of what drives you. That's what keeps you going and keeps you motivated, you know, every night. What's different about this year than past years? It, growing up with the same team is a big part. My past couple years, I didn't feel like that, that got to happen because each time we've seen people leave, five, six, seven players leave. Last year, we only seen one leave. So we're pretty much taking the same team from last year and building on from that. This is my last chance to get a state championship, and that's what this whole, whole senior class has been trying to do since we've been freshmen. So. It's going to be a good chance because I feel like we have a good team and we can make a good run at it. I think this group, out of all the groups we've had, has the most heart. We're all buying into the program and we all want the same goal. Do whatever I can for us to win. Whether it be scoring, passing, playing defense, just anything. We've grown up together. We've played together throughout middle school and elementary school. Seth and I played. You know, since we are three together, it's been, it's been a great ride. We do what we need to do when we find. Okay? It's not so much what they're going to do, and you know, Bob's going to testify to this. If we do what we need to do, then they're going to have to adjust us. It's always good to go out and beat them because they're our rivals, and just being out on the floor with the whole community, it's always packed and it's so loudly. You can't even hear anybody. Everyone says it's just another game, but it's really not just another game because everyone in the community is there watching. It's Exodus, searching for euphoria, judging through the mud of find the present, no ignoring us. Got 20,000 deep up in the street, like we some warriors. My mama told me never bow your head. Whoa. I feel glorious, glorious. Got a chance to stop the game. Cole Plants thinking about the three, guarded by Miller, pops it out to Fallon. Fallon up for three, slices through. I made it through the Parkersburg South wins the first of two regular season meetings with their Crosstown rival this year. Glorious, glorious. I know you're tired. That's when you got to find a way, and that's when you got to dig deep. I don't care how tired you are, you, gotta, you just got to tell yourself. And luckily, we're in an environment that was loud and crazy, and that adrenaline kind of carried us through. But now, I'm proud of that, though, because you found a, way to, found a way to win. You made plays down the stretch when you had to. We've got to get back somehow, you know, and those two kids, you know, they're, they're special. I mean, to me, they're, they're two of the greatest kids in the world, and, and if you would ever see them, you know, they're never upset. They're always smiling. They're always happy. Never upset about their situation, and, and it, the crazy thing about both of them, they both help other people, too. So that, to me, seeing what they do just creates a sense for our kids that you know, you got to give back. You, there's, there's more to this than basketball. I know, and, and we talked earlier about the state championships thing and stuff like that. But I would trade every single win, everything we have, to, for a cure for those kids, and you know, and, and for them to have, you know, a life where they wouldn't have to worry about that kind of stuff. Well, the Haley Strong game it means a lot because I've been in the same grade as Haley coming up through school, 
and just seeing her going through cancer is just crazy to think how that could be you and you have to do whatever you can to help her out so just put all, all you can during that game. Haley means a lot to me, me especially because I've had people die in my family from cancer and stuff and seeing her battle it hurts and knowing that I get to play for her is something special. She's a big part of our, our team. It's a huge part of the community. The, uh, they, they come out, we have a huge crowd, and uh, it's, it's very important to raise awareness and uh, help her get you know, fight the battle she's been fighting. The first time I, I saw her and she explained her story to me, I had a daughter you know, that's a year behind her and, and that's the only thing I could think of, you know, what if that was my daughter? How, how would I approach that? I would, I, would be, I would be scared, I would, you know, I would want help. I think the biggest thing with what our kids get from this is you know, they get a sense of you know, helping someone else. Instead of just going out there and playing to have fun and just acting like it's another game, it kind of gives us another emotional drive and you know, say fourth quarter kind of gives us another extra push to keep going if it's a close game because we want to do it for something or for somebody. For me personally, I came over Southside eighth grade so I had to like figure out the meaning of that and figure out that the whole community just builds around her and it gives us a better meaning to play that game. I feel like we play a lot harder. You know, every loose ball is ours and we fight because of her, you know. Our shirts say Patriots never fight alone, that's for sure because she's with us forever and uh, we're going to fight with her. We have one of the best student sections in the state of West Virginia and definitely the best community in the state of West Virginia. The Psychos have kind of embraced our basketball program and been a part of what we do. And we're getting ready to play the sectionals here. And that's a huge advantage to be playing at home in front of those kids. And, and the great part about that is those kids are part of us. They can be a part of something. They may not be on the sports team. Or they may not be part of something else. But they know when they come to that gym and, and when they're around, they're part of our basketball program. We have the best student section in the state and I feel like we just we just go off their energy. Here we go, Parkersburg South, Parkersburg High getting set to do battle from the Rod Oldham Athletic Center. Third time these two teams have met this year. South won the regular season series 2-0. Snyder gobbles up a loose ball, bobbled, and it falls right into Cole Plants' lap. Parker Miller there, some room, Miller, a dish underneath, and an offensive foul call. Braden Mooney took the charge. The put back from Miller off the hinge, and it's good. Fallon guarded by Peacock, Fallon up and under the lane. It's good for Fallon. We're not faceless, we were born for goodness. With two seconds to play, Patriots 52, Big Reds 50, on a big time bucket by Seth Fallon. We're not nameless, we're not faceless, we were born for greatness. We were born for greatness.
Welcome back to the Ronald Athletic Center, the 20 and 3 Parkersburg South Patriots, coached by Mike Fallon, face the 11 and 12 Hurricane Redskins, coached by Lance Sutherland in this regional co final. Mooney, middle of the floor for Schneider, pull up jumper, and Schneider buries it. Regional champion Parkersburg South Patriots headed to Charleston after a 67-58 win over a heartbroken Hurricane Ball Club. Ben Menarchak and, and Cody Durnell and you know Kerwins came in off the bench and gave us huge minutes and some big games. And that's a testament to them, you know. Maybe didn't play as much as maybe they wanted to at times, but you know they stuck with our team concept, you know, and have bought into everything we've done and you couldn't ask for more out of out of a group of seniors. We wanted five.